Penelope Aurora, Penelope Aurora. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonX.com. In today's screencast, we are going to continue installing OpenCV from a package. Let's get started. As you recall from our last video, we were packaging up OpenCV. Since then, I have flashed L4T 28.2 back on the Jetson, along with OpenCV, CUDNN, and the other friends of that environment. As you recall, we built OpenCV on an external flash drive. We call it the flash drive Jetson TX2. Here's the OpenCV directory that we built it in. It is located in the build directory. Let's put this as a list. And here they are, OpenCV and friends. Let's take these and put them in another folder. Just grab these and copy them over. Let's view this as a list also. We have a couple of different flavors. We have the shell file, which will install all of our libraries and binaries. We also have this stored as a tar file and three different dev files. For this video, we'll just use this shell script. OpenCV is by default stored in slash user. So let's go take a look at that. You can see that we had live OpenCV 3.3 installed here. Let's remove the Live OpenCV 3.3 installation. And now we are ready to install 3.4. Let's switch over to the package directory. And let's use our little shell script to install for us. There is a parameter that we can pass which will tell the script where to install. We will install it in slash user just like the default installation. Just carriage return through this. It's your basic threats. Do you accept the license? Why, yes. Include the subdirectory? No. Installation complete. Let's go back over to our user directory. Take a look in the live directory. And now we can see that live OpenCV is now version 3.4. Let's test her out. Close this up. As you remember, we have a little demo program that we run in the build OpenCV repository. Switch back to the home directory. Let's clone this baby. Switch over to that directory. Switch to the examples directory. Let's run this using Python 2.7. We need to load up the dev files. and we're ready to run the demo. I have my stripy shirt on, so we're ready to go. Let's clear the screen off. We will use the webcam, so we will set the video device to one. There we are. It's 
Still stripey. Okay, so it looks like it works. We're using OpenCV version 3.4.1. Let's run another test. Let's install YOLO. You only look once. Let's escape out of this. Oh, before we do that, let's run our little GPU graph. Forgot about that. On the Justin Axe account, on GitHub, there is a repository named GPU Graph TX. Switch back over to our home directory. Git clone our little friend here. Read the instructions, Jimmy. Pseudo apt get install Python matplotlib. Now we can run it. Okay. Go back to our little candy demo. And you can see that we're using up a little bit of GPU over here. That's good. Okay, now let's go look at yellow. Let's switch over to this article. This article is by JK Jong. He has a quite wonderful blog that you should be following. This article is about installing YOLO version 3 on the Jetson TX2. I will leave a link in the description below. First thing that we do is install OpenCV 3.4, which we have done. Now we are ready to clone YOLO. You only look once. We switch over to that directory. And we want to modify our make file. So let's do that. Let's see, our GPU, we want to use that. CUDNN and OpenCV. The compute architecture is 62 for the TX2, and for the TX1, it's 53. We'll just do them both, it's simpler. And we will save that. Let's set our NVP model. That puts all the CPU cores online and ups the clock rates. Let's make this. Build complete. What do we do next? Chris tested yellow with this YouTube video. Okay, so I have downloaded the YouTube video. Let's drag that over. Here's our yellow directory. want to download the pre-trained weights and run YOLO. So let's do this.
Okay. No checks, please. We only take cash. Let's run our little demo. Takes a little while to get going here. And there's our little demo. There's cars and there's trucks. We are getting about 3.1 to 3.2 frames per second. Let's take a look at the webcam demo. Close this up. Let's see how do we run this. This minus C1 represents slash dev slash video one, which is the webcam in our instance. Let's see, have my stripy shirt on, so I'm ready. Oh, I'm a person. I feel so special. Wow, it's pretty serious about its GBU usage here. It's close to 100%. Let's see what other things it might recognize. Let me go get some stuff. Most importantly, what does it think this is? It knows there's a chair here. It sees me. So this is disappointing. It doesn't know about sharks. What kind of test set is this? Let's get something else. Penelope, where are you? It's a teddy bear. Well, that's pretty close. I think Penelope's a teddy bear. Try something else. Oh, it's a bottle. That's interesting. That's well, not a remote bottle. Some people call these fire bottles, so we'll have to give it to it. But you can begin to see how important your training set is. In any case, that shows you how to install OpenCV from a build package. Thanks for watching.